What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Fuller here and today we're talking about reverb and I am so kicking myself because I just discovered literally just a few days ago how easy it is to make your own reverb IRs for the Unreal Engine. It's mind blowing how simple it is and I can't believe it's taken me this long in my life to figure it out. So for those of you who already know how to do this, kudos to you. But man, I'm kicking myself now. I wish I would've known how to do this a long time ago. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, high quality, awesome IR reverb that you can put in the Unreal Engine and use for your meta sounds. The synthesizer that we're building, synthesizers sound way cooler with delay and reverb. Delay is easy to do, reverb's a little more obscure, and it uses more processing, obviously, but we're gonna make our own quick IR and we're gonna make our synth sound awesome, and we're gonna do it real fast, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so I was on the Unreal Engine website the other day, just reading about convolution reverb because I'm a huge dork. Um, but you know what? Uh, convolution reverb, very powerful. And I've always used it in my mixing software and my DAW and always uh, getting great sounds out of it. But I've never actually made an IR myself. So I'm on the website. I'm reading uh, this Unreal documentation. This is documentation for 4.27, but it applies to Unreal Engine 5. And I'm just dorking out over reverb and reverb concepts. And I'm getting all scientific, feeling really super smart. Then I'm reading how to make uh, uh, impulse responses and then I get to this paragraph right here and I, my mind is blown. This creates an impulse response blah blah blah. In this way any sound wave, any sound wave could become the IR for the convolution reverb. Any sound wave. Um, and you can convolve it and you can do all this really cool stuff but the reality is I was like any sound wave? Come on this is ridiculous. But I tried it. I tested it out. I used an explosion sound for a reverb IR, and it actually sounded pretty awesome. So I was like, well, what if I actually IR'd an actual reverb? So that's uh, what I did. And so let me show you how I did that. So all I did was I got this microphone, my little Slate MX-1, and I recorded a hand clap like this. And that's all I did. And then I put some reverb on it like this. Then I bounced that just like this, and I called it reverb. And then I got my reverb. And then I cut the front end off, which is technically the impulse. And then I shifted it over and I got this. And that was my reverb tail. Then I exported that. So now we've got our clap reverb sound, our true wave reverb tail. Now all we're gonna do is add it to the Unreal Engine very easily. So this is how we do it. So we've got our meta sound here, which is our synthesizer. I'm building this. We turned our QWERTY keyboard into a mono synth. Really cool, but it's super dry. So let's add that reverb. So what we do, we come into our uh, Unreal project. I'm going to go into audio. I'm going to import. I'm going to right click and I'm going to import that reverb tail that I just made. And I'm going to pull it in here. So now we got this the reverb tail. Then I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna create impulse response. Wow, Epic, you made it real easy on us. I love it. There's my verb here. It's, a, it's our impulse response. You can't hear it right now because it's just IR. Now, how do we get that into our meta sound? Here's our meta sound right here. MS Main Synth Demo 1, which you can check out in one of my other videos and learn how to build that. We're gonna drop down here in the details panel. We're gonna go to source effect chain. We don't have one right now, so we're gonna make one. We're gonna click on none. We're gonna click um, create new asset, source effect chain. We're gonna call this silly crazy reverb. And we're gonna hit save. Now, silly crazy reverb. If we hit play, nothing will happen because that's just an effect chain. But we're gonna go to this effect chain. We're gonna double click on this. Now here's where the fun begins. We're gonna add an element inside this element. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna create a new source effect. We're gonna call it Fuller Silly Verb. And we're gonna save it. What kind is it gonna be? It's going to be a source effect convolution reverb preset. This is the only complicated part. You gotta make a thing and then a thing and then a thing. So now we have Fuller Silly Reverb here. Still won't make any sound, we're gonna save that because now we've got to add a reverb IR to this. So we're gonna find that in the browser. 
boom, here it is, Fuller Silly Reverb. We're gonna double click and here we are, three layers later, begging us for an impulse response. Guess what? We have one, because we created one, and we called it Verb Merged 1 IR. That's our preset. Our wet volume is zero, our dry volume is negative 96, which means you're gonna hear mostly reverb. We're gonna put that at, uh, let's go dry, negative 20, so you can still hear the dry sound, but we really wanna emphasize the verb. All right, and that's it. Now, let's see what happens. Here we go. Whoa, there's our reverb. Now, it sounds way off in the distance, so let's adjust that a little bit. Let's come up to dry. Let's put dry at zero. Let's go verb down to negative 18. That seems fair, and let's try it again. Now, you can barely hear it. All right, let's go back. Let's go zero, zero. Boom. Check out that sweet, silly reverb. Now it sounds awesome. And that's how you make an IR reverb from scratch. And here's the thing, don't stop there. I made an IR off a of reverb, but you can make an IR off of some dude screaming. Uh, you can make an IR off an explosion, like I did earlier. You can make an IR out of a guitar sound, whatever it is. Dream big, think big. You can make your own reverbs. No reason to sound like everybody else anymore. You can make your own reverbs. Heck, you can go into your bathroom and record yourself yelling and use that as your IR. Whatever it is, have a ball. You can also color the sounds with these IR as well. So. That IR is imprinting all of the sound that's involved with that. So if you record yourself yelling in a bathroom, it's going to also pull in all of that ambience and that EQ. So that's a cool way to quickly uh, add a reverb to the meta sound. And what's cool is it's in our game now. So it's our own custom reverb. Now, one caveat. Uh, the IRs do use a lot of computer processing because it is a mathematical equation that's happening to create that sound. So keep that in mind. You don't want to add 50 IRs to your game because it might bring it to its knees. Anyways, hope this uh, tutorial was helpful and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.